guys, what is up, Digigames here, or Dan Manel, and basically, today in this video, we are back with the second episode of the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who. David Tennant's return, we've got him here again, the Funko Pop is here again, and without further ado, if you go on to enjoy this video, make sure to go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more videos, and let's just get into the reaction. Oh, it's starting with something different this time. Why are we in 1666? By the way, as per the last video, I have had a bit of alcohol. So we're watching Doctor Who with the best atmosphere. Is it Isaac Newton? He had the apple fall on his head. Is this Isaac Newton? No, <laughs> you can appreciate. Oh, come on. You can appreciate the gravity of the, of the situation. <laughs> Why does Donna always do that, honestly? Mavity. <laughs> so we're sticking with this intro, I guess. Like, this is mad. This is such a good intro. I love this intro. This is my favourite Doctor Who intro so far. It's not just going through the time vortex. It's actually seeing other stuff. Jesus Christ, what has happened? Oh my god. I think the TARDIS has officially blown up now. But Grant's complaint. He said you shouldn't be teaching children that. We need Wilf back. I want to see Wilf. Where's Wilf? I want to see Bernard Cribbins on this screen because we've lost the man and it's just so sad but so happy that we get to see him again. Feels like spaceship. Yeah, thanks for that one. I think we all gathered that. Got air. We've got light. We've got Mavity. She called it Mavity. So it's not called Gravity anymore. I am being held down by the force of Mavity. Was it me or was Isaac Newton hot? Donna, have you seen who you're standing next to? Honestly, have you seen this man? <laughs> the TARDIS is gone. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good time. <laughs> I don't understand how this is 15 years later. Donna and David look exactly the same. Like, Catherine Tate and David Tennant look exactly the same. They haven't aged a day. Why do they look so good? Oh my god, I don't understand. Last time David was on the screen, I was five years old. But that means we've landed in the middle of hostile action. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Donna. Yeah. On this ship that's so bad, the TARDIS ran away. Yes. Yes. That's the bit from the trailer, eh? I've seen that bit. It's the only bit of this episode I've seen. I don't have a clue about any of this episode. I know 57 billion, 205, but not this one. Why don't you know that language? The only language you haven't known before was the language on Croptor, I'm pretty sure it was, with the devil or the beast below. <laughs> Then we've drifted into the Star Wars universe with racers or speeders. It's basically Star Wars now. We might as well get Ewan McGregor dropping from the ceiling and get his famous catchphrase. Hello there. Yes, hello Ewan and goodbye. Hello Jimbo. What is this? Honestly, what is that? It's just some like kind of weird robot. I don't think that's the hostile action. He doesn't look very hostile. I want big things from this these specials. The first one, nothing really happened. Nothing came back. Donna came back. David came back. Yeah, fair enough. So this episode, I'm expecting big things. I want either Peter, Christopher, Matt, Jodie. I want one of the previous doctors to at least come back, or a previous companion at least. Well, definitely a spaceship. Yeah, thanks for that one, Donna. I think we've established that. The spaceship seems to Who keeps watching them? Some it keeps watching them from vents and from behind. I'm getting quite freaked out. Because I've seen an interview with Russell T. Davies and he said this next episode was one of the most horrifying and scary that he'd seen so far on Doctor Who. So I'm, I'm actually kind of scared. See, like the green screening before was bad. This green screening is film level green screening. You can stand in my garden and look at the light from stars a billion miles away. Well, not in England. I, honestly, we were meant to see the Northern Lights where I lived the other day. They were meant to be seen all throughout where I live. And I looked out my window, I couldn't see any. 
I've never been this far out. It's time to get this. Even the doctor's never been this far out. Yeah, that's worrying. That's very worrying when there's something aboard this ship. Whatever. Wait, what if it's the midnight monster? A warning. Slow warning. That's what gets you the scaredest slow warnings. Build the tension, innit? Is that stuff dangerous? No. What is that, David? Why does it look like it's skin? Why is it dripping wet? Why are you licking it? Hostile action, remember? What was that? A noise. Oh, well, you're very helpful. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is going to go as well as the doctor thinks. Rose and Sean are my mother. Standing there in that alley. Donna, you've met your mum. They will wait a lifetime. They will wait forever. And of course you're going to come back. Well, actually, I don't know if you're going to come back because you're clearly not with the new Dr. Shuigatwa. So David must die and Donna either forgets again or she dies. So I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe it'll land on some outcrop. I'm so confused. Why does it keep switching between this and this? I think the Doctor knows something. I think Donna's been taken over or something. Has Donna been possessed? I have no idea, like... My arms are too long. Oh, I suppose it is a bit fiddly. Could you pop back and finish it? My arms are too long. No, what is happening? I'm scared. No, 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 no. It's too long. No. Oh my god, what is happening? I am terrified. <laughs> Which means that's not the doctor. That is not the doctor. Did you come from outside? We came from the nothing. This is reminding me of Flatline. They've come from like another dimension. Oh my god. Yeah, I'd get running, Doctor. Run! What the? Oh my god, I am freaked out. What, what, what? No, 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 no. Oh my god. Jesus, now nah, what is actually happening? It's silly, but it's scary. Like, oh my god. They got too big to move, did they? Did they actually get too big to move? That's ridiculous. Great. Oh no. The ship's changed and Donna is trapped out there with those people. Oh no, they're both trapped in tunnels now. Like what is coming after Donna now? Why is there footsteps? Oh my God. Why is it just a door? Why is it jump scaring me? Oh no, they don't know which one's which. No, but look, I can't stretch it. No, that's not the Doctor. That's Donna. So the other one's not Donna and it's the Doctor. Let's take the tie off. What's that kind of proof? They might have a different perception of surface. This is the Doctor, because he's doing sciencey stuff. All four of us know it's Gallifrey. Except it's not. Actually, it's not, is it? Oh my god, they're, inter they're intertwining the Timeless Child. You don't know where you're from. Oh my god! They're intertwining the timeless child. So yes, I keep running. Of course I do. How am I supposed to look back on that? It wasn't your fault. I know! Jesus, they play off each other so well. I know they're like best mates in real life, but Jesus, the chemistry they have is insane. Oh, yes. I missed you. <laughs> oh, it wasn't Donna. Wait, it wasn't Donna? What? So the other one's Donna, not the doctor? That's mad. Why did I think it was the other way around? I was born in Southampton, because my mum and dad... So that's not the doctor! My mother to say I was a problem from the day I was born, and I've not come to the edge of the year. I, I think the alien's just going to be like, shut up. Where's your tie? What? Your tie, what is it called? I took it off. Oh, no. It was there, on the floor. Oh, tie's gone! Yes, clothing doesn't just disappear. Auntie Iris, mummy and daddy, yep, 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 yep. Why does he travel with someone as stupid as you? Jesus, what is this? No, 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 no. Oh my God, no, 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 I am terrified. Why does it, why, why, uh, uh, I cannot even say anything. I didn't know the difference between those two, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, why is he so angry? He doesn't like being trapped in confined spaces. 
What is this robot climbing towards? Why is it getting closer and closer? Oh god. Oh, I'm so confused. Which means these two are the fakes. Then which one is it, Donna? Cross the line. <laughs> yeah, do it. I dare you. <laughs> They're actually counting every grain of salt. Oh my god. Why do they have like vampire teeth? No! Run! Run! Why? Why always on two sets of glass? How can you not think on a ship full of questions? Why the empty chair? Why do the walls keep moving? What are the words in the air? And why did the airlock open and close three years ago? Jesus, why is there so many questions? Just answer one of them. I don't even know which one's the real doctor and which one's the real Donna. Looks like the new humans on Orphan 55. Do not let that thing aboard. Caught in the gravity field. Caught in the what? Gravity field. He said gravity and then corrected himself to Mavity. Why? Why? Why has gravity been called Mavity? Karma the Zen Master set something in motion to stop those two. And she took her own life so they could work out what she'd done. But you're working it out now. And so am I. Oh no. Doctor. Doctor. No. No. You cannot work it out because then he works it out. And Donna can't work it out because then she works it out. Oh no, 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 no. It did become a very... What? What? So the spaceship's a bomb? What number are we on? Right to go, that's five. Oh, they need to keep closing this door. The TARDIS brought us here just in time for the final sequence. Yes, the TARDIS have brought them here. The TARDIS always takes them where they need to go. Never where they want to go, but always where they need to go. Jesus, so the robot's gonna explode. There's David and David and Donna and Donna. Donna's gonna fight Donna. David's gonna fight David. Honestly, what is this? Jesus, you're never gonna catch him. Push it. Push the big red button. The hostile action ends. But a time machine. Oh my god, the TARDIS is coming back! The TARDIS is back! And why is Mrs. Bean funny? Because the name of a vegetable given to a woman! This is No! I hope this is a real Donna. Wait, what if it's not? I'm me. I'm me. Oh Jesus! I think he has got the wrong one. Oh my god. He actually has got the wrong one. No, 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 no. This episode is not ending. This episode is not ending. Oh my god. No, 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 no. This is not how Donna dies. This is not how Donna dies. Oh my god. No, 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 no. That is the real Donna, I'm pretty sure. Your arms are too long. Oh my god! Come on, Doctor! Save her! Come on, quickly! Thank you! Oh my god! How did you not know that was the Donna? How did you know not, 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 uh, how, uh, 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 uh. This was an insane episode. Her wrist had an extra 0.06 millimeters. Oh yeah, obvious. But it clearly wasn't when you took her. Like, honestly, you chose the wrong Donna, David. What is wrong with you? Oh, oh my God, it's Wolf! <laughs> Donna! <laughs> Wilfred Mark. <laughs> Now I feel better. Oh my god. I am so happy. I am so happy. I never lost faith. I said, he won't let us down. He'll come back and save us. Save us from what? Save yourself from what? Oh, oh no, the time maker's here. What is happening? We're all going mad. 
Listen, you've got to do something, Doctor. Oh, my God. The whole world's coming to an end. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, that is the most goosebumps I've had in any Doctor Who episode that I've ever reacted to. Honestly, I cannot believe that. We got to see Wilf. Oh my god, he was there. I thought he was going to come in the last episode. And oh my god, we get him in this episode. Oh, I cannot wait to see what Wilf comes now. But that was Wild Blue Yonder. That was, if I'm being honest, a much better episode than the first episode of David being back. It felt more like Doctor Who. There wasn't a moment where it was boring. If I'm being honest, it wasn't like in the first episode where the first half was boring up until the meep turned evil. But this episode, it was just thrills and scares and everything all the way through. And it was an insane episode. The way the cliffhanger left us off, a plane crashed, everything was exploding, people were killing each other, trying to fight each other. And Wilf was back saying that the world has gone insane. And the only person left from the trailer is the Celestial Toymaker. So it must be him. Oh my god. Oh my god. The guy from How I Met Your Mother, Barney from How I Met Your Mother, is coming back as the Celestial Toy Maker. It is insane. And I hope he can play the bad guy well. I've seen the trailer. He looks insane in the trailer. And honestly, next Saturday is going to be the best episode of Doctor Who that I have seen in a long time. I am certain. Just from the trailers, just the clips in the trailer show me that it's going to be the best episode of Doctor Who that I have seen in a long time. But guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I really enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed it too and enjoyed seeing me react to it and want to see me react to other videos and TV shows and films and stuff like that, make sure to go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and go check out this video or this video if you'd like to see more of me on your screen. And I'll see you in the next time. Goodbye.